Let's talk about a single that you released. Uh, shoes, shit. I think it was like a November Akarian. Akarian. Yeah. Uh, am I pronouncing that right? Or am I screwing that up? Yeah, I've heard it both ways. The Akarian or Akarian? Yeah. Akarian. Because uh, I've done it both tonight. So. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Akarian. It's it's a it's a great track. I I love the guitar work on it. Um, I was actually showing my stepkids the uh, the video because you know sometimes they really they've been here when I've been on the on the radio and they just think it's boring when it's just you know they haven't been here when the band's in here but I got to say I get to interview this band here and they saw the video and the production of it and you guys gave me a little bit of clout so I, I appreciate that <laughs> whatever we can do that that's good. <laughs> there was a lot of work that went into that video though yeah um, so. Uh, again, Ryan Hudson, um, he produced it and um, he did it in one with one camera shot. And so we were in um, the basement of um, his building and we basically had run of the, it was like a playground down there and he kind of had like the main band shot set up and um, kind of threw towels and dampened all the cymbals and stuff so we could go over and over and over. We could just played to like a Bluetooth speaker and sure. um, mm-hmm. kind of airplayed through it. but. We spent most of the day finding all these like nooks and crannies under the streets of Jackson. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> there were some rooms I didn't want to go in. <laughs> it, was, it was scary. I mean, I, I see I see shots of like Kenny, like uh, in like a, not even a hallway. It's just like a little crawl space, and you look yeah. cold. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't cold, but it was definitely spooky. We we were looking for those type. There's like a, a some sort of underground railroad uh, tunnel down there too. We got yeah. some cool shots of Manny in there with a the, little bit of red and blue lighting. Yeah, I think I got tetanus down there. Just by sure looking at it. Body, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool though. Yeah. So it was it was it was a really cool place to be, and um, and uh, as soon as we got all the the video takes done, uh, Ryan threw it together really super fast. Mm-hmm. Great job. The uh, the woman in the video, the spiritual guide kind of uh, narrative in there. Talk me through that. I mean, I kind of have my own idea of what it's about, but what do you guys think that she brings to the whole song, the whole imagery? <laughs> Who is she? I mean, is she... well, I can start with that story. Yeah. So this so this isn't as rock and roll as you would think, but so. <laughs> Um, it was like a casting, like a hundred women. Really, well, that's what we thought was <laughs> yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Um, but, what, but what happened was is we put a call out and to look for talent, like performance talent, right? Sure. Um, got nothing. And, and then, um, so we started asking people that were like in our circles, different circles or whatever. And some people, like either they couldn't do it or didn't want to do it or it sounded weird or you know, whatever. Um, and Ryan had subscribed to... Like a like a stock video service, and typed in like female dancer with wings, and this was the video he was using for those place shots of like where we thought the performing like the actresses would be. Sure. Um, and so when he showed us the cut, we're like, no, that works great. <laughs> <laughs> so we had we had uh, one group um, who agreed to do it, and it was going to you know for exchange of money and stuff and um, when we were uh, like a day before they came back and like doubled the price or did something weird with the <laughs> pricing and we're like no 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 that's not how this works you agreed to it yeah and they're like no yeah. no no that's not how this works we're not you know so we're like fine we don't want it and then they started getting weird and started dropping their price and i'm like i mean just negotiating with artists you know during covid too which yeah. you know we're sensitive to but um we were just trying to get this done so um, it just turned out that the, the stock dancer was the perfect thing that we wanted, and it was exactly what we needed. So. It was very close to what we had imagined. I mean, there was going to be a little bit more fire, I think, in what we were planning, but um, sure. this was cool. Uh, and we actually we had Ryan put some tweaks in on her, too, um, because she's sort of um, playing the Icarus character, even though the, the Icarus from Myth, it was a, a male. I mean, well, we still thought that you know she was a fitting character, and we had Ryan sort of um, play with the lighting on her a little bit. So, in the early parts of the video, she's kind of in a uh, a dark blue tinted seat setting. I mean, it's it's the same video throughout, but we had some tweaks so that it, the video gets progressively lighter as sort of her character develops and her her wings start to spread more and more, and she's able to finally take flight at the end. So we, nice. we tried to do, you know, work what we could with stock footage, <laughs> but we, we think it turned out well. Yeah, yeah. It, it works out very well. When you guys get a chance, go up to YouTube, look for Flowers on the Grave, a carrion. Here they are. 
with the carry-in right here on Sessions on SouthStateRadio.net.